Thank you, Chair. I'm Gag Shabasu speaking on behalf of the major group for women. And we're very pleased to hear countries highlighting the leadership of women and the importance of resources for gender equality. The women's major group firmly believes that strengthening the partnership and involvement of the major groups and civil society constituencies, coupled with enhanced responsibility, accountability, and collaboration with member states, is critical to the long-term success of the SDGs. Official recognition of the rights of non-governmental actors to self-organization and autonomy can enhance inclusivity and integration because this provides a level of flexibility that allows for new and emerging constituencies and rights holders to participate effectively in the follow-up, review, and implementation of the post-2015. Simultaneously, governments should promote a regulatory process for the private sector, ensuring ex-ante assessment for their social and environmental impacts through a human rights-based approach to guard against potential adverse human rights impacts fueled by perverse incentives that inherently undermine independent public policy making. Finally, the HLPF can provide a platform for sharing best practices and identification areas of joint action at all levels. We are all talking about a transformative agenda, but how will you ensure that the inclusivity of civil society and women as agents of this transformation will be the foundation of enacting the SDGs? Thank you.